everybody. So as I begin this presentation, I would like to share an important story with you. As some of you may remember, about a month or two ago, our school offered us with Global Awareness Day, where there were different speakers every class period in the auditorium, speaking about topics such as global warming or personal obstacles they had experienced. A speaker that I watched that really stood out to me was a woman who is a high school principal. She works at a small school full of students whose lives have not been very easy. The students that are currently attending her school may be struggling to find a place to sleep at night, getting in trouble with the law, or have been expelled from countless numbers of schools. One of her key insights that she shared with us was that instead of telling people, I'm here for you, or praying for you, she simply changed this response to how can I help you, which she found was way more productive. This really resonated with me and changed my way of thinking about my responsibilities as a senator. Whenever I find myself in a situation where I might have jumped to the I'm here for you card, I found myself inspired to ask, how can I help you? Which has resulted in effective open-ended conversations that really get to the heart of the matter. This has also led me to ask, how can I help this? Or how can I improve that? While observing things we must work on at Creek, not only just people. Since I've been slated for an executive position on Senate, my intention is to approach the Creek student body and challenges we may face as, a, as the principal treated her students through both the amazing times and the hard times. Hi, my name is Lauren Beavis, and I'm humbled and thrilled to be slated as your student body secretary. I believe I am highly qualified for this position because of my dedication to Senate, my organization skills, and my positive energy. So how can I help fill and improve this role of secretary? My main goal is to increase the flow of inspiration into Senate, create an extremely comfortable and inclusive environment for all senators and students, and radiate creativity. I plan to continue polite attendance, filling the Senate room with decoration, displaying our spirit and pride, and a consistent Senator of the Month. A new idea that I have includes a slight Senate room makeover. The makeover entails a large calendar with Senate events organized on the board, a specific sign-up wall, and more decorations to create a good vibe. As for the student body, I want to connect with them and make their voices heard. I will be doing this by creating an Instagram where students can DM me about the ideas they have, projects they need sponsors for, and a nominated student of the month to increase recognition of our peers and their accomplishments. I want to increase student-to-student -student support in any way I possibly can. So you're probably thinking, is that even what secretary does? Well, not necessarily, but if elected, I will go above and beyond the traditional role of secretary. Finally, I would like to thank one of my best friends, Sam Schauflick, who I'm honored to run against. I would also like to thank the seniors in Senate, Dr. Keogh and Mr. Weiss for believing in me since day one. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not confidently and passionately be standing up here today. I truly do believe that. I hope that you, the student body, will believe in me just as much as they do and vote Lauren Beavis for student body secretary. Okay, um, what is one way in which you've displayed leadership in Senate? Um, I don't think that there's necessarily like one example that I've shown my leadership, um, but throughout the whole year in Senate, I feel that my participation in the events and my excitement for everything has hopefully encouraged others to participate in the events. And also I've been on the decoration committee for Power Week and Spirit Week. And I feel that like, even though I wasn't ahead for those committees, I felt like I stepped up to the plate when it was needed. And if that meant working after school, I was working after school. If that meant, you know, like, spending extra time just working on it during the day, that's what I was doing, so. Um, what unique and innovative ideas do you have that will improve how we do things in Senate or the school as a whole? So, as I mentioned in my speech, I would like to just really up the vibe in Senate. I think that we need to become, even though, of course, we all love each other dearly, I think creating an even more communal feel between all of us would be just like amazing for next year and just making sure that everybody's happy with 
where they are in Senate and what they're doing, make sure everybody is acknowledged regardless of anything. So I just want to make sure that when they, people walk into Senate, they feel like they're celebrated and that they have a happy little area to come into at the end of the day. Thank you.